Yo, what's going on guys? And I want to wish everyone a happy new year. This is my first video of 2019, I believe. Uh, well, me talking at least. So happy new year to everyone. We're going to be starting off this year with a bang. We're starting off with the newest light Zodiac character, the boar Cumbra. You're probably wondering how I uh, acquired this unit. This is actually not my main account. Um, my main account is in the gutter. So uh, we'll be using this one for a little while. So do understand that if you see a different pool or different setups, can, that's probably why. Do know I do have Athena, Siva, and all the other units. So you may see videos on them upcoming and a little uh, new Ultima video. So hopefully you guys subscribe and uh, you'll see that new content. Now, today Cumbra is the newest Zodiac unit and she's amazing. Oh my lord, what were they thinking? They just, they were just like, you know what, bro? This is making like hella good. And they, they, KMR, you did a good job. You did a good job, brother. <laughs> I am surprised. This unit is given everything light needed and then some too. <laughs> uh, even Magma users. You gain a lot too, so it's great. Now she's a light draft attack user. Um, her specialty weapons is spear and axe. Now with spear and axe users, it's a little bit hard. You don't really have that many. You have like Zeta, Hellas for spear. I'm off the top of my head. I, can, I can probably can't really think of any other one. Oh, Noise, the summer one is another one. There's not that many options. Um, actually, she kind of conflicts with him, so keep that in mind. As for axe, you have Vera. Uh, I can't, I can't think of any others off the top of my head. If you leave in the comments, what other like, units? Are. I think those are the main ones for SSR. Uh, you're probably wondering why I am mentioning the units, because now I'm start incorporating the uh, the specialty. Because now we have Akasha weapons. So uh, with Akasha weapons, they now require up to two specialties, and on top of that, we have the Ultima. So team building is becoming a little bit harder than it used to be. I may have to incorporate a way of like a team building section because of how much harder it's becoming over time with more of these weapons requiring a certain set of units with a certain specialty weapons to really maximize their damage output without hurting the overall team too much. Now, Let's get past that part and let's talk about the unit. So we'll be looking at her Ogi Guild, uh, Gilded Heavenly, oh, Heaven Strike, my fault. So with this Ogi, it deals massive damage to a foe, restores Cumbra's HP. The HP restores 20% of her health bar, caps at 4,000, can be boosted by your EMP skills if you are able to roll a better ring. So keep that in mind. And she also gains Razorback Lance. Razorback Lance is a gimmick that is based around her passive skill. Do know it caps at four of them. Uh, I'll talk more about when we get to her passives, but for now, we end it there. Now, with the next one, we'll be looking at Bamboo Splitter. Now, Bamboo Splitter is a light damage to all foes. It caps around 4,800. You can increase the cap in many ways. Um, it also applies a 20% light defense down and bore force win effect to the caster, caster being herself. So with this, it's pretty much just another attack. It also gets her a razor back glance at the end of the turn. So it's not bad. It's pretty much your basic move, especially if you want to cap defense down. Do note that she's only doing 20%. She'll need another unit. You have options like song. She would cap defense down with her, provided you have missed. You also have the angels to make up for her lack of capping defense down. Just know though, you have to bring something else. Cumbra cannot do it with mist alone. She's kind of similar to Anella in that situation. Just that she doesn't have 12 debuffs. <laughs> See that level of Nella yet. Now, her second skill is Reckless Abandon. It's a uh, light damage to a foe, one target, caps around 6,000 up to 7,000 around that area. Also, it gives all allies Reckless Abandon, which is her version. Let's click on it here, effects. 
it's her version of her buffs. Now, her buffs are a little bit different than the normal characters. Hers is a double attack is boosted, triple attack is boosted, which is pretty similar. I believe the only one that did not have that is Anilla. But she also increases damage and damage cap for one foe attacks and counter attacks are boosted. I do not believe that counts Ogi. I could be wrong. But I do not believe one foe attacks counts your Ogi. I, I'm not too sure on that one though. But I'm pretty sure it does not count Ogi. That's why her Ogi gives the bamboo, uh, it's my fault, the Rage of Backlands. We'll talk more about that in a minute though. Now, depending on how many times you have cast this skill, the damage cap goes up by first it goes from 5 to 3 to 11 to 13 to 15 percent damage cap maxed out same with the data it starts off at around 5 for ta and for da starts up around 10 then it goes 5th 12 12 and then 8 <laughs> something like that and it all goes all the way up to 30 and 15 data which is pretty good for light since DATA was pretty much non-existent. Keep in mind that since he keeps recasting this skill, um, that also gives her the ability to keep it up almost indefinitely, as long as she's not debuffed by something like uh, Sleep, where it would have screwed her over. The next thing we're gonna be looking at is her skill three, which is a uh, flowering Brilliance? Flowering, well, flowering, brilliant, <laughs> Talk about flipping over your tongue, but flowering brilliance, um, boost to the caster's hostility, tank and counter effect three hits. Do note that this works on AOE attacks. It's very important because if you didn't know, some uh, tank and count, well, some counter skills do not work on AOE at attacks. <clears throat> Uno. <clears throat> Um, boost to charge bar upon taking damage. So the more she takes damage, the more charge bar she gains, the better chance of her ogying and healing herself. Not bad combo. And it does last three turns, which is okay. And that's pretty much it for her skills. Now, as I mentioned earlier, her support skill is where we really gonna get into the understanding of raise your back lance but first recklessness incarnate it lowers her charge bar game so she has slow charge bar but that can be pretty much subsided by her skill three provided you use it properly in a situation where she's allowed to actually take that damage um she also deals high damage for our one foe attacks boosting her normal cap it gets a kind of a seraphic boost passive letting her hit really high damage um not bad at all as he gained high maximum HP which was not needed but they was like why no not <laughs> why not bro <laughs> let's just give her more HP because he needed that now Queen aboard as we talked before this is where you get into Rage of Backlands so every time she, she gained a Rage of Backlands upon one foe attacks and counter attacks so both those times she's gaining one foe attack she gaining a Rage of Back. Upon maxing out Rage of Back at four, you get to recast Recklessness Abandoned. That's how you keep up Recklessness Abandoned infinitely. It takes four hits to get that, and Recklessness Abandoned is three turns. It casts at the end of the turn, so if you can do the math, it lasts indefinitely as long as she's not interrupted within those turns. Pretty good character, pretty solid character. She has pretty much no real major weakness other than don't let her get it debuffed. Um, depending on the debuff, it can't screw over her combo. But other than that, it's a pretty solid unit. Luckily, she has fun fun with both protector. Now let's look at her EMPs. Her EMPs are pretty basic. You definitely want to invest in crit, uh, CA damage cap, Skill damage cap is not bad either. Uh, her support skill is not that great personally. That's my opinion though. But something you want to do is probably do cap out your crit. Depending on the pool you're running, 
you definitely gonna need to cap off the crit so that she can actually hit the cap because her cap is really really high so you want to go with a little bit into crit do couple into ca damage you may want to put a point or two depending on how you're using her for debuffing if you're using her mainly for debuffing then you may want to invest more into debuff success rate if you're not using her you're using her as a buffer then you don't need to invest into this skill uh for ultimate bahamut players this is definitely something you want to invest in big time because ultimate bahamut has really high resistance now if you're a guy who uses her a lot for high level content you want to invest in ca damage one point more the more user the more points you may want to put into her skill uh skill damage cap it's the same thing one point um i wouldn't really max it out it's up to you though but one point it's pretty good that's about it though now it's time to get into some gameplay anyways we're right back okay so we're gonna go with this team here it's a basic gw team i'm going to be doing a spear version of this in the future so keep that in mind but for now we'll keep it simple I have to make an ultimate spear, so. I'll be making a fire one, I believe. So that should be coming out uh, sometime from now. So go with this. Go with song. Fence down, please don't miss. I really don't know who to get multi attack to. Mm -hmm. I get to get the song. Oh, we hit sleep? Okay. So this, this is definitely a different uh, pool than the one you probably mostly see me using. But, hey. You guys get used to it, right? Out. Still paralyzed, so it's gonna take a little while. I am running the uh, Halon Katana, so I gotta keep in mind that I gotta... I have to change up my stuff. I decided to do high level because I know some people get tired of me fighting the same bosses. And you know, I have a different unit, why not, right? No, there's nothing wrong with changing things up every now and then. Also, it gives you a better idea of how things perform. Even though it's, it's not Magna. You see right there, that's where her low charge bar speed does come in handy that we did not get a full chain which is okay with me i don't i didn't want full chain anyway i don't think it's really worth full chaining unless you really need to and you can see the arc we're hitting now 500k auto 560 i believe pretty good take a couple more stacks before we get all the way up to um the like the really high numbers Now, um, with me making an uh, Ultima Spear, I am going to be doing it on uh, the fire team, although the fire team is currently not fully done yet. I have to actually farm a new grid. It has the Magna grid on here, but it's, uh, it's not that great. <laughs> so I'm end up having to farm a whole new grid for that, so it may take me a little bit of time to get that done. Also, this is account actually does not have. 10 full limit break BW characters. I'm actually gonna be ha having to farm gold bars again. So I thought I may be streaming um, high level Bahamut, like a join session, and I'll help people clear out Bahamut high levels for like a while. Cause I need actually five gold bars in this account. So that, that's gonna be like my new goal for stream, I guess. I believe it missing Octo five star, Sarsa, um, Neo, Esther. And one more unit. I don't remember who. Wait, Octo, Sarsa, Neo, Esther, one more. Is it Quattro? I don't think it is. It has to be a I actually don't remember the other unit that's being missed right now. But I do know there's five units that are not done on this account yet. So I have to get that done sometime in the future. Go with this. Go with this. We have to, depending on song right now, to hit the fence down, which he did not. That's I set up bar four. I actually, I actually forgot about it, so forgive me on that one. Damn, still good, even in this portion of the fight. 
Oh, I did a lot. We do get the heal later on, though, so not that bad. Go back there. After you start. I think never really you start, to be honest. I believe it boosted your multi attack, but lower to your defense. Something like that. Something along those lines. Though I think we have a lot of multi attack already. So we should be fine. Now, another thing I wanted to mention is that uh, for people who do play Epic 7, I am now getting to Abyss 70. I don't know if people actually care for me to post that on YouTube. Um, I'm, I haven't cleared Abyss yet, so. I am now finally getting there. I should probably be clearing the best in like, uh, maybe a week, less than a week. I thought some people may be interested in that type of stuff. I know I'm not only playing uh, Grand Blue right now. I play other games too. Also, we gotta hit a veil. Oh, you can probably see I have Shiva. I'll probably save Shiva for a little bit later when we have a little bit more of a setup. Right now, we don't even have defense down cap, so. Right now, we gotta focus on getting defended down cap again. Current goal. Damage is still really good with only 20% defensive down, though. I'm very happy about. Song takes really long. Next time I do this, I'm definitely bringing Thor. That was a really bad decision on my part to not bring Thor. Bahamut's not really needed here. We are almost at this point, though. I feel like Song has never got her skill 2. Is her skill 2 broken? Okay, now we're at 50, so we should be getting access to skill 2 now. And then we can get a good showcase of it. I always never really liked this boss because of that one portion of the fight. It takes a little bit longer than it should, really. Come on, Song. Come through. Come through. Defense now. Yeah, that's what we needed. Nothing else mattered. <laughs> uh, I guess we could try to paralyze. It doesn't hurt. Oh, you get paralyzed? Uh -huh. I guess we could drop... Oh, no, I guess we could drop Hector, actually, and then Shiva. Not the optimal way because we probably get a 100% charge bar on them. But we do it anyway. Ah, not 2 million. We're going to need uh, Ayoi to get the 2 million, I believe. Oh, well. Not enough cap up yet to hit the two million. This is keep in mind this is high level defense, I believe. So it has a little bit more defense than normal. Than like, you know, the normal race you, 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 you do. I do wish they had higher Ogi cap though. I feel like the Ogi is a little bit low. That's something that could definitely change up. I'm gonna use Bahamut here. We don't really need to use Bahamut, but why not? Don't kill us. Kind of overkill, though. <laughs> In all honesty. Yeah. So I'm thinking about swamping over to the Akasha bow. If you notice in this pool, there's no Akasha weapons because they don't have good synergy with their weapons. That's the one problem with using this team. Using Fun Fun, the standard GW team, is that there's not great synergy around there. So you're going to have to end up swamping out a unit. So when I do other units and I'll showcase it with this character, I am going to be using a different setup. I do want to try to um, bow set up with the Akasha bow. That's going to be pretty fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy that one. I want to have to change out um, Fun Fun. I don't, I don't know what bow unit to use yet. Matera is one of them. Or we can use the gun use. Actually, I have Silva on this account, so I may try Silva. I think. I think that'd be a good setup. Song, Silva, and Kumbra. Uh, 
We should be fine in here. I think the boss is still powerless, right? I don't, I don't think the boss is really doing anything back to us. The damage is so high, man. Oh, it did attack. <laughs> uh, I forgot. <laughs> I was taking my sweet time there. I, think I literally forgot it can attack. It's almost like saw like light had this seraphic weapon. Now imagine when they do 800k autos left and right. The whole fight. It's gonna be ridiculous, man. Light, you're looking real good. Next GW guys, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. The light GW. The ones coming up right now it's gonna be dark, but the one after that is most likely light. I hope you guys have been working on your grids and ready for it. Fun for this <laughs> the candy. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I, oh, that did pretty good. I need to farm Avatar. Uh, not complaining about that. Uh, I will be doing more. So, I am back doing normal videos again. Finally, it's been a little while. I have more characters now. So do watch out for more videos. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.